Now we're going to learn how to sort and find data. The Access, Sort, and Find features are handy tools that help you quickly organize and find data in a table or query data sheet. Let's begin by selecting Tours by Category Query. So I'm going to double click Tours by Category and it brings up the query data sheet. From here I'm going to change my view and I want to make sure that I'm in Design View and not Data sh Sheet View. From here, I'm going to find the Duration field and double click there. So here's Duration. I'll double click and it adds it to my query. Next, I want it to be in Ascending Order. So I'm going to select Ascending. Then I'm going to select, I no longer want the tour's name sorted, so under the sort criteria, I'm going to select not sorted. I'm going to double click the tour start data sort cell to specify an ascending sort, and then I'm going to <clears throat> double click the price sort cell to specify ascending sort. So let's go to tour start date. So here's tour start date. I want it to be ascending and I want my prices to also be ascending. Now I'm going to go back to my data view. So I'll select view, go to data sheet view, and you'll see that I now have things in the order that I specified. From here, I'm going to click the Find button on the Home tab. So we're in the Home tab, and you're going to look for Find. That is this button here, or you can do Control F. I'm going to type in Sightseeing. So Sightseeing. And I'm going to tell it to Find and Replace. So click the I'm going to click Replace. Now it brings me the option that allows me to replace it with something. So I'm going to replace Sightseeing with Culture. So type Culture. And I want it to replace all. So I say replace all. It reminds me that I won't be able to undo this. I'm going to say yes. And it went through and it replaces all the options. I'm going to click Cancel to close my sort. Next I'm going to right click the Tours by Category Data Sheet tab, close it. If it asks me to save it, I'll select Yes to save my data sheet. Now we need to filter our data. Filtering a table or query data sheet temporarily displays only those records that match given criteria. Recall that criteria are limiting conditions you set. An example of filtering our data, let's look back at our data sheet that we've been working on. Let's say, for example, you might want to show only tours in the state of California or only tours with a duration of 14 days. Although your filters provide a quick and easy way to display a temporary subset of records in the current database, they are not as powerful or as flexible as the queries. They're just to look at, basically. Let's first look at our table called Tours. So under Tables, I'm going to double click on Tours, and it brings up our sheet of Tours. I'm going to look for Adventure, so I'm going to click any occurrence of adventure that I see. Then I'm going to click the selection button in the sort and filter group on the home tab. Then I'm going to click equals adventure. So we'll find our sort and filter group. So here is sort and filter group. And we're going to find the selection button. So we've got selections equals to adventures. And you'll notice that it brings up just the adventures. Next, I'm going to click the Advanced button in the Sort and Filter group. And then I'm going to click Filter by Form. Here's Advanced. 
So I'll click that drop down and I'm going to do filter by form. Next I'm going to click the tour start date cell. So we'll find tour start date. And I'm going to type in 7 slash the asterisk which is a wild card slash 2014. Then I'm going to click the toggle filter button in the sort and filter group. And you'll notice it brings up the two tour start dates that begin in the range that I gave it. Now I'm going to close the table and it asked me if I want to save the changes. I'm going to say yes.